Man, what's going on, guys? I haven't done a prediction video in a while. I hope all y'all are having a fucking great day. East versus West 12. About a month, what, a month and 19 days? Or a month and 15 days away? Super, super stoked for that. I'm going to make this quick. We all know it's Devin versus Levon's the final match. I'll save that for last. So we got two people. Right hand, light heavyweight. Chizadze versus Marhart. Don't know. Don't know who those guys are. Now I gotta go with Sandri Sadis versus Sagov. I think there's a good chance that Sagov wins. Sadis can, Sandris could lose. I'm gonna go with Sagov on that one. Um, Oniani versus Octev. I'm gonna go Octev. I don't fucking know. <laughs> All right, now here we got one I know. We got the greatest arm wrestler in the world or the most technical as he says Teresitis versus Marikov I think Teresitis is going to win he's at a whole nother level right now we got Ryzik versus Nikashiva I mean Ryzik when I saw her arm wrestle last event she was so 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 impressive she just dominated uh, oh this is going to be a good one Irakli versus Petrenko right hand levy right hand light heavyweight I think Arakli's going to win. Arakli is on absolute tear right now. He crushed our boy Paul Lynn. That shit hurt my fucking feelings. This is a surprising match to see, but they're two big internet personalities. Schoolboy versus Akrona. Leonidas. I mean, you have to put Leonidas as the favorite. No, you don't. Schoolboy has to be the favorite, but Leonidas has endurance for days. And Schoolboy's shown that he could... Uh, gas out like he get did get he did against that dude at king of the tail you know what lee nice is going to win that that's a that's a weird match and we got brandon elser versus let live i think brandon will lose i always i like to go for the north americans i just don't see him winning that match because i feel like let live wouldn't come back unless he felt like he could win now this is an interesting one monster michael todd versus lamparelli lamparelli looked incredible against matt bass Michael Todd dominated Pablo, but Pablo's not the level of Lamparelli. I'm going to go for Michael Todd. I want Michael Todd to get back on the winning train. He's just good for the sport. He's a good, big name personality to have on the win. People love to see him lose, so maybe if he lost, that's good too. But I want to see him win. I do want him to get back on the winning track, and I want him to actually hold up his end of the bargain saying he wants to get to the top again. Super interesting match right here. And I think it's going to come, da come down to endurance. Alex Kordetsha versus Svestikov. I brain farted his first name. He gassed out versus Devin Laird. I think this is going to become an endurance war. I don't think Alex Kordetsha's endurance is as good as Georgie. That's his name, Georgie. I don't think Alex's endurance is as good as Georgie. I think Georgie's going to get stuck in that position right there. Alex might get a round or two. I think Georgie's going to win off of pure endurance alone. Samusha versus Adekarkin. I actually don't know who's going to win this. Arno Baev and the boys are tough, and you know they're going to have a fucking plan, but Samusha, Samusha is the George St. Pierre of fucking arm wrestling right now. The dude just doesn't lose. I mean, you got to go smooth shit, but I hope he loses. I'm tired of him winning. <laughs> and he got uh, Ermes Gasparini versus Muratov. I think Muratov's going to win. If Ermes can crack his hand back or find a kink in his hand somewhere, Ermes has a chance. But I think uh, Muratov's going to win. I think it's cool that Muratov is facing these big guys. But this is the match. Levon versus Devin. Levon's the favorite. But... If Devin doesn't get injured, I think Devin could win. One, Devin's going to hes we all know he's, he's going to be way stronger. He's been competing nonstop since the last time he faced LeVon. LeVon's going to be strong. We know that. We know LeVon's not going to be as big. Will him being lighter affect anything? How's his endurance? You got to assume his wrist is going to hold up. He's training with all those Georgian boys. LeVon will probably go up two or three rounds, and I think Devin will win two or three rounds, and it's going to go to the silver bullet. That's what I think. I think it goes to the silver bullet. Whether Devin wins or not, we don't know. The reality is, all Devin has to do is win one round, and he's the winner because he's done something no one else has done in the sport in years. 
But obviously, he wants to win four rounds and be the champion. But if Devin just gets one win, he, he he's done something no one else has fucking done. Super stoked for this card. This card's incredible. It's overshadowing what's happening at King of the Table after this with Hermes versus Dennis. But King of the Table's last event was fucking terrible. So it doesn't surprise me that there's not as much hype around it. But I cannot wait for this. I hope Devin wins. Levon, I think, I think it's 52-48, Levon. I hope you all have a good one. Peace.